my name is Vineet and I am a student of BSc Chemistry Honours final year. Today I am performing a physical chemistry practical that is to verify beer Lambert's law using given potassium dichromate solution. First we will prepare 0.1 normal KCL solution for that we will take 4.903 gram of potassium dichromate a 200 ml distilled water containing beaker and a colorimeter. Now we'll add 4.903 gram of potassium dichromate in this beaker, 200 ml water containing beaker, and constantly stirring it with the help of glass rod and prepare a clear solution of this. Now fill this solution up to the zero mark in the burette. Fill this solution into the burette up to the zero mark completely. And now take a beaker containing only distilled water. Now take this water in a test tube and then in a cuvette. So this is our blank solution. Now we have to auto set the value of zero into this colorimeter by taking this distilled water in a cuvette and then noting its absorbance. Now we'll first auto set its value to zero. And then we'll standardize our colorimeter by doing this. So we are setting the value for 2.0. This is called standardization by keeping the blank solution of distilled water only in this cuvette. Now taking pure potassium dichromate solution in the cuvette and fill this cuvette with this potassium dichromate solution and keep it in, in the hole of colorimeter and note down note down the value of lambda max that is the wavelength at which maximum absorption takes place now at 420 nanometer this value comes out to be 0.71 absorbance value now at 420 nanometer the absorbance value is 0.71 and at 480 nanometer this absorbance value is 0.94 and at 500 nanometer wavelength the value of absorbance comes out to be at 500 nanometer the value comes out to be 0 0.86 and at 520 nanometer this absorbance value comes out to be 0 0.96 and at 540 nanometer this value comes out to be 0 0.57 and at 620 nanometer wavelength this value comes out to be 0 0.98 and at 680 nanometer the value comes out to be 0 0.98 and at 690 so from here we can find our lambda max that is equals to 620 nanometer now we have to prepare solutions in a test tubes. Four solutions we have to prepare respectively in four test tubes. The first solution we will prepare is of 0 ml potassium dichromate and 10 ml of water and second solution we will prepare is 2 ml of potassium dichromate in 8 ml of water and the third solution we will prepare will be 4 ml potassium dichromate in 6 ml of water then 8 ml of potassium dichromate in 2 ml of water and finally the full pure solution of potassium dichromate with 0 ml of water then taking all these solutions in this case test tube and from this test tube into the cuvette and then placing this cuvette in the colorimeter and note down the various values of absorbance Procedure of doing all these is first to take the solution of burette and also taking this solution from this burette into the respective number of test tubes at respective number of times. First we will take 2 ml of potassium dichromate from burette then we will take 4 ml of potassium dichromate from burette then 8 ml and then 10 ml of potassium dichromate fully from this burette and then placing this solution in a test tube first and then into the cuvette and then taking this cuvette holding this cuvette into the colorimeter 
and note down the absorbance values at various concentrations keeping our calorimeter at lambda max equals to 620 nanometer this 620 nanometer is the maximum is the wavelength at which maximum absorption takes place so note down the various values of experiment of various concentrated solutions so these are the respective values of our respective solutions for solution of 0 ml potassium dichromate in 10 ml of water the absorbance is zero auto set we have already auto set this and for 10 ml of potassium dichromate in 0 ml of water has an absorbance value of 0.98 we have already calculated from the first step and for all other solutions it comes out to be 0.05 first point 101 then 0.20 then 0.26 and then finally 0.01 so these are the values and this is the practical notebook in which we have noted the above results and plotted the graph between absorbance and concentration of kcl solution used you can see